Okay, React Engineer, you're probably sitting there creating really complex data structures in your components. You've probably got arrays that you need to iterate. You need to pull out primary or foreign keys and then find other objects, which you then need to bring in. And then you're gonna have to create sub objects, which eventually are gonna be rendered into things like lists and buttons, etc., etc. You're probably even going off to backend services and grabbing IDs and tokens and refresh things and bringing them backwards and forwards. But this is how you need, what you need to do, right? This is what you do with the React app. You do processing of data in the view layer, right? Wrong. You don't need to do that at all. Let me tell you why. So traditionally, we're taught that the React layer will do everything for us and they, it introduces things to us like props and state and it will help us with things like hooks. And we even see in the next version of React and with React Suspense, it will do things like allow better asynchronous programming. Also, we can do all of this complex, complex work in the components. But the problem is, the problem is with doing that is as you try and scale up your components and you try and write testing and you try and create decoupled architecture and you try to build a better system based upon clean decoupled code, you're going to struggle. Why? Because you think you're being forced by React to do everything inside the components because let's face it, React is the way, right? Well, this is not strictly true. Instead of allowing React to do everything, what you should actually do is you should take a slightly alternative approach. I'm going to explain what that means now. What you should do is you should get your React component. You should say, okay, there are things that React is good at, okay? They're good. It's good at tracking things like low-level state. It's good at having small amounts of props. But what we want to do is we want to shield the React layer. We want to shield the component from doing complex programming by taking it out of React. And so what we do is we build something called a facade. And this facade, we only allow one thing to come through this facade to the React component. And that's called, it's a data structure and it has a very special name. And that data structure is called a view model. And a view model will simply have all of the presented data that's pre-prepared and pre-packaged and pre-whatever, all of those for each loops and all of those foreign key relationships will all happen and be put into the view model. And when you put that through to the React layer, the React layer will just simply render a flat, what we call a flat presentation model, okay? And how do I know this? Well, the flat presentation model is something that we teach in something called the UI Architecture Academy. And I am one of the coaches from the UI Architecture Academy. In fact, I'm the founder of the UI Architecture Academy. Uh, what we do is we help engineers that have common problems like this, where they're putting too much into the components and getting all this complexity. And they say, you know what? We're just struggling to build, test, to scale our React apps. And so we teach them how to begin to decouple uh, using things like view models from the React layer. So if you would like some free, some more free training from me in this, then I'm going to invite you to a free, a free web training class that I've got going on this week. And in the, free, in the web training class, we're going to be going over three things. Firstly, we're going to be going over eight principles that you can begin using today to enable you to create more scalable UI architecture in any framework, including React. Secondly, I'm going to be teaching you something called the holistic uh, process, a holistic UI engineer process that you can use on a minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day to enable you to write better code by having, uh, by basically feeling better as you write code because you're going to have specific rules that you can, uh, you can run with um, as you write code. And thirdly, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the transition from being a regular UI engineer, which is what you are now and what I used to be, into being a UI architect engineer. And a UI architect engineer has specific rules that they can use such as the view model and the facade to enable better presentational uh, component design in uh, frameworks like React. So if you'd like to join me on this uh, web training class, what you do is you click the link on or around this video and you get taken through to another page. And I hope to see you on the other side.